Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our online trades, and our courses. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically been falling apart since we got to the top of the bullish band here. At the moment, we did try on Friday to rally towards the 20 exponential and got rejected really heavily. And at the moment, we have this inverted hammer, which is a very bullish, a bearish shine. Technical indicators, they are all favoring the downside in its current stage. So we could see this drop towards these previous lows, which is the 50 moving average or even the bottom of the bullish band. So at the 91, should, uh, or give or take, should be where we have find support. Rally to the upside, uh, break about the 20 exponential. Could lead, lead us towards the highest area of the bullish band at 93. So let's look at oil. So oil is uh, still just hanging around here at the at uh, give or take uh, 59.36. So there's um, mixed messages here. For, uh, for example, in the technical indicators, MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish. Uh, CCI is flat, and RSI is flat. So. It has basically been all over the place, but we have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50 moving average. And usually that is a fairly bearish shine. So we the last crossing was back here in November when we had this bullish run. Now we have a crossing yet again, and that should indicate a bearish, uh, a bearish momentum. So if we manage to take out these previous lows here at the 57, then we could head towards 55 and also towards the 50 and probably the 200 moving average before we find support. This has been a massive rally, uh, uh, basically a fairly pointless rally uh, because the world economy is not doing that well. Expectations for the world economy are high, but they're not. it's not up to speed. So demand has not been there. Uh, vaccine news, uh, stimulus packages, and so on. OPEC uh, uh, has basically been the things that have been driving this market to the upside. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas, uh, we have a crossing here at the 20 and the 200 moving average. It got fairly rejected at the middle of the bullish band here. That is a very a bearish shine. However, um, technical indicators are fairly mixed. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, the RSI is flat, and the MACD is basically flat in negative territory. So, uh, yes, if we get basically break down from here, we'll most likely find support at the 2.47. Rally about the 20 exponential, we'll most likely find the resistance at the 2.65. So let's look at copper. So copper did a breakdown yet again on Friday. It has basically been just doing the same thing, trading sideways for the last, uh, basically the last month. At the moment, we're trading just at the 20 exponential at the 4.04. Break below that, we'll most likely find the support at the 50 at the 3.9615. Rally from here, most likely find uh, resistance at the 4.16. Technical indicators, they are all favoring the downside at this current stage. So let's look at gold. So gold uh, did rally on Thursday towards the, the 50 moving average and then broke down all, all the way down towards the middle of the Bollinger Band before finding support. And then it basically it basically bounced from the 20 exponential. So that is a fairly bullish shine. Even though we broke down on Friday, that is a fairly bullish shine. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is negative territory, but, but it's, uh, it's cro has crossed the signal line. It is in bullish momentum. Stochastic is about to cross the signal line and then become bearish. The CCI is underneath 100 now, so that is no longer in bullish territory. And the, the RSI is basically at 51. So break below the 20 opens the door to the very bottom of the bullish band at the 1700. A rally above the 50, well, then we can head to all the way up towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at silver. So silver, yet again, very similar to gold, rallied uh, from the bottom here at the 23, all the way up towards uh, 25 and a half, and then broke down towards the 200 moving average, which offered major support. Technical indicators are 
fairly mixed. Uh, Stochastic and MACD are bullish, while the RSI and the CCI are bearish at this current stage. Break below the 200 moving average opens the door back towards uh, the 24 23 dollar range. Break about the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 up here at $26. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum uh, is basically doing the same thing it has been doing for quite some time. It has been rallying up towards the top of the bullish band, breaking down towards the bottom or the middle, and we just see the same pattern over again. Technical indicators for Platinum at this moment are very bearish. So a break below the 50 could open the door towards the bottom here at 1140. A rallies from the 50 moving average could uh, open the door towards the 1244 uh, uh, dollar range. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium is bouncing off the 20 exponential moving average. We had this massive rally here uh, only a few weeks ago. Broke down towards the 20, rally again, broke down, and then rallied again. So we're having a, a bit of a range here of a top of 2.691 and a bottom where around the 20 exponential at 2.575. Technical indicators are at the moment all bearish. So they're all basically showing uh, either flat or being bearish at this current stage. But the 20, as long as 20 exponential is holding, it will most likely offer major support and will basically rally from there. So yes, let's look at aluminum. So aluminum is uh, finding yet again support at the, it basically rallied towards the top of the bullish band and are heading back towards the 20 exponential mo uh, moving average or the middle of the bullish band here. So it has been rallying, broken down, rally, broke down, rally. It's just the same pattern or we're basically in the same channel here. It has been very, very choppy trading, uh, gaps down, gaps up. And uh, yes, that has basically been extremely volatile the last few weeks. Technical indicators are all favoring the downside at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has tried to rally on Thursday. We're trading just about the 20 exponential, and now we're on Friday. We broke down towards the 20 exponential. Technical ind indicators are in negative territory and are becoming bearish. So MACD is negative territory above the signal line. Stochastic is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. So is the CCI. Uh, CCI is still in bullish territory, but it's turning around quite aggressively, and the RSI is also turning around. 200 moving average will most likely be the floor, while the 50, if we rally from here, will most likely be the top. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has rallied above the 20 exponential and then broke down. So we did have this massive fall in the sugar market, and now we, we have basically rallied for the last six trading days. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside at this current stage. So, um, yes, it is fairly uh, plausible that we are going to rally up towards the 50. Uh, last time we tested the 50, we basically broke down from here. So when we have these breakdowns and getting close to the 200 moving average, it is usually we see a rally towards the upside. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside as well. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is very similar here, found bottom at the 0 0.77 and then rallied up towards the 20 exponential, above the 20 exponential, and at this moment, technical indicators are all favoring the upside. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. If you get rejected here, then we'll most likely head back towards the bottom of 70, 0 0.77 and 42. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa is, uh, well, not looking very good. We have been in this uh, fairly big uh, or fairly significant uh, downtrend for the last uh, few weeks. And it looks like that is uh, about to continue. So we have this channel here and uh, we have the top of the channel, bottom of the channel, and this fairly, fairly steep sell off uh, in this market. So we're right in the middle, getting close to the top of this will most likely be rejected. It's also where the 20 exponential comes into play and getting towards the bottom will most likely be where we'll basically rally. 
Technical indicators are all favoring the downside. So this is in a downward trend. We can see that the major support levels is around here at 2.231 and down here at 2.084. So let's look at wheat. So the wheat market has absolutely exploded to the upside towards the 50 moving average and then found major uh, resistance there. We got all the way down towards the 200 moving average here at the 592. And if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside at this current stage. So whether or not we manage to break above the 50, um, would be fairly surprised if that were the case at the first run. We could see a pullback towards the bottom and then continue toward, towards the upside. If we manage to break above the 50, then we are heading back towards these previous highs of 670, 680. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.